Well, Rex, a, um, welcome to Super Industry Awards again. You're not a first time or anything. But, um, just a little back, background on yourself, just uh, where you came from to be where you are at Napier Boys, uh, doing the agricultural thing. Yeah, um, uh, from just out of Seddon, uh, Marlborough. We, uh, my parents were uh, sheep and beef farmers and um, our market gardening as well as mixed cropping, so lots of variation. Uh, I was lucky enough to go to St. Bede's uh, College and then to, to Lincoln University, uh, where I studied uh, agribusiness there. Um, from there went overseas uh, to work in Ireland, then uh, back uh, into uh, the Bay of Plenty where I worked uh, for Ravenstown Fertilizer for a couple of years, then down to, to Sunny Hawks Bay for PGG Rights and where I, it inspired me from there to train to teach agriculture at high school level. So uh, you then went for a formal teacher training at Teachers College stuff? Um, I love the word inspirational. Um, you're obviously working with a fairly large school at Napier Boys High and uh, you love agriculture. Can you of the challenges maybe of um, getting kids to look at us as a career? Uh, the, yeah, there are a lot of challenges uh, and a lot of them unfortunately probably tend to come from uh, parents seeing agriculture as a, uh, a lesser industry than, than some of the others that are offered to them. And the, the real challenge is to break that mould. Uh, it's been a, it has been probably the last five years something that we're, we're breaking down quite quickly and um, with the new agribusiness standards coming through uh, that St Paul's Collegiate have, have developed that there's um, a lot to look forward to in high school education but it has been a battle. Yeah. What do you enjoy teach about teaching agriculture? Oh, the, the, the students by a mile are um, what inspire me to, to, um, to teach, they, they're just so interested energetic um, over 200 go through the course every year and I mean we've built that up um, where it wasn't such a strong course uh, but yeah their enthusiasm to get out into the field whether they're crutching dagging fencing uh, even digging crap out from under wool sheds it's um, you know they just want to they want to do it and and now with the, the options that we have we can really um, uh, expose them to so much more industry uh, and there's a lot of support from industry coming into schools, which has, uh, again, um, been a real big help for us at, at the high school level. So where you've got, you just mentioned crutching, dagging, all that sort of thing, where do you take the kids to get that practical experience? Well, there's, uh, there's a range of walls, we've got a range of supporters, a lot of, lot of farmers that are, that are really keen to help uh, develop the boys, so anywhere from up Tepahui Way, Wairua, uh down as far as Tautani Station um, and uh, uh, Herbertville. So we've we've had a range of um, a range of experiences, and and yeah, we, we're we're very lucky there because we, we, I know it takes a lot of time out of a farmer's day if he's going to help train, but also um, yeah, getting getting the boys out and about and, and, and into it. It's been really really good there. So you've been at Napier Boys 2010, I think. So um, over that time, the Challenges of getting those mentors or places for kids, is that a, an issue? How have you um, built your network for that? Uh, lucky enough, again, with my experience with PGG Wrightson, I, I was on the road as a grain seed uh, merchandise agent, and so I had a lot of contacts through there. Uh, my brother-in-law is up in Kiru. He uh, put me on to another top man up there who's um, been a big big help for us at, from Kiru Station. Then uh, a lot of parents um, who have also... Um, that got her boys in the hostel uh, basically climbing over themselves to give us a hand if we need a hand. Um, the, the, the offers of anything from muttons through to sheds to jobs to t training, it's, um, yeah, it really supports what we do in, in, um, in our course. What, um, where do you see your kids? They, f they finish with you, where are they going to once they've left school? Yeah, it's been, since I took over the, the egg department, um, I've made it a bit of a mission to track them. To, to keep in touch with a lot of boys, and uh, that's been a real bonus to see where they're going. A lot go through Lincoln and Massey, uh, some through Taratahi, for example, and training through those systems. Uh, I got my first vet, um, first vet man going through this last year, uh, this year. Uh, so that's been a real, uh, a real sort of highlight as well, because it's not it's, we're breaking that mould of it being a subject that they don't. Um, that they, they go into just to dig a post hole or um, strain a wire. It's it's actually there's there's 
it's a subject that lends itself well to the universities and and beyond. So uh, yeah, seeing those boys go through, we've got the first since I've started first lot of grads going into the banks and and onto the road now, um, starting some of their um, stock management as as young fellas too. So you know, really good.